Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Making a Decision, episode 1, part 1, in Halo Reach. Now, I'm not going to limit this series to just Halo Reach. This can be for any game that I, I, I want to do, or any of you guys that suggest to me, because you guys are a community for me, any of you guys that subscribe, or comment, or message me, or whatever, you know, I, you guys... Whatever you guys want, I I will do um, to my best best of my abilities. Anything you guys want. Uh, when Call of Duty Black Ops comes out, I believe I may do that. Uh, do this series with that as well. But for right now, it is going to be Halo Reach, and it's not going to be a weekly thing. It is going to be uh, whether it's something like this, a full commentary or clips or whatnot. Uh, and it, it will just be when when I can get it out there. So don't expect to see episodes every week you know maybe you see you know one day gap or two week gap between episodes there is not gonna be a weekly thing or monthly or what, anything like that now the premise of this is to really help those that aren't good at halo because by no means am i you know a superstar at this game i am you know it i i was a guy that struggled to get kills in the beginning but you know, over time, it just kind of became the fact that I kind of understood the game and made decisions that will help you. So you will see plays from me that are just flat out good, where my decision making, you know, helps helps me get kills. But you'll also see decisions that are just flat out bad. So you know, when you're in this situation, don't do this because it may get you killed. And so that first play there, I see a shot in the back. I decided I'm gonna go around this corner, turn around, check, and find out where he is. If he's farther away, I'll take the grab lift to my right and go. If he was clo uh, the way he was closer to me, I decided to shoot a rocket. If it hits him, kills him, yeah, we can get out of there. But he's gonna turn the corner. I have a second rocket. When he comes around that corner, I'm gonna shoot him and blow him up and get the kill. Now here I made a little bit of a mistake of not being aware of my of my screen and saying in the right. Uh, corner up top uh, you saw it said why switch weapons uh, because I was actually out of ammo in the rocket launcher and uh, you guys don't know it but I was actually trying I was trying to uh, shoot the rocket launcher at him T towards the ground basically I was gonna sacrifice myself to get the kill uh, I got this I sacrificed myself to get the kill but it wasn't exactly the way I wanted it uh, it was a double beatdown between both of us so unfortunately I didn't get it the way I wanted now here you can see uh, good decision making uh, because of how I play you see me with the sniper right now uh, I'm not necessarily extremely good so I know that having the sniper out uh, I need I have that second gun here I tried to melee I miss I know I'm not gonna take a shot with that sniper because I know but I can't get him. So I switch back to the DM DMR. He jumps. He's vulnerable. I get the double beat down because I got him once in the air. Then I turn around and got him the second time. Now here, he's kind of got a height advantage on me. Uh, and this this is a bad play on my part. I ran up the ramp and was like, I think I can get the melee. And unfortunately, I didn't. So he actually just kind of, he got me with the pink explosion that goes on. When too many needles go into your body. Here, I decide I'm gonna try and get the double beat down. I can't shoot him, can't get the gunfight. Here's another guy, I saw him, he's trying to shoot me. I decide just run, get the hell out of there. And it was I know I was not gonna win that gunfight if I tried to shoot him. Because I already had I had less shields than him. So I just ran. And it didn't pan out in my favor that time, but you know, sometimes running away uh, to find cover or to run towards your teammates uh, can't help you. Now here, I don't know what this guy is doing. This guy's an idiot. I don't know whether he's trying to congratulate me or he's mad at me because I have all these kills or what. I don't know what he's doing. Or maybe he knows me. I don't know what. I don't know what he's doing. Here, I get the stick. I kill the first guy, so it's now two v one for us. But because my shields are down because of this idiot. I get blown up by the grenade because I don't have enough shield strength to survive that explosion. Guys, if you're going to play this game, I know there's, you know, 
uh, betrayals in this game, and you can sometimes be able to forgive or boot a player. And last night, it happened to us, uh, I was playing with one of my friends, and he gets booted because he accidentally throws a, a plasma grenade on the ground, and it blew up and killed one of our teammates. So our teammate decided to kick him, but it, it was by accident, the grenade was on the ground, he didn't intentionally try to stick him. Guys, unless you know, uh, personally for me, unless you know he purposely tried to kill you, I'll, I won't boot you. If you, you know, if I accidentally got in the line of fire of a sniper shot or a DMR or because I had low shields or whatnot, you know, I'm cool with it, you know. But unless you, you know, purposely tried to kill me, I, uh, I'll boot you. Here I have a, a nice, uh, nice decision making. And I'm not necessarily trying to kill him. I decide to just try and put as many shots as I can. And it worked in my favor because his shields, that kind of yellow explosion around his body happened. And with the shields down, it, it wasn't going to take too much for me to either shoot him with two more bullets or three. Or just go up and get him down. So, you know, guys, when, when their shields are down, know that it's going to be easier to kill them. And, you know, something I still have to learn. Uh, I'm, I'm learning throughout the YouTube gaming community is the idea of uh not trying to just not like especially in this you're trying to take their shields away aim for their body first and once you know the shields are down try and aim for the head and it's something i'm still trying to learn uh but again you know it, it, it's, just, it's just it just takes time with games like this to understand what to do now here you just saw a real nice play of patience uh i waited waited that out and i was just putting shots on people wasn't trying to be over aggressive. Here was an actually another very nice uh, play. I actually decided uh, because I was being shot at, I decided to run, go in that little alcove kind of area, turn around and wait for him to come up. And I got two beat downs on him, which got me the kill. So I was kind of lucky on that part. Now uh, here was actually um, a, kind of a good decision, but it kind of was kind of bad because I was thinking. Okay, I saw one guy go behind that little wall back there, so I know he's going to go up the grab lift, but unfortunately there was another guy with the, the rocket launcher and he got me. Here, I got double beat down, and you know, I hear some people don't like this, you know, double beat down kind of thing, there's actually a name for it, but uh, you know, I use it uh, because it's going to help get kills, I don't, you know, for those of you, if you frown upon it, uh, I'm sorry, but you know, it's just how it is for me, it, I, I like using it. And, and you know what sometimes it works and once again here's this same idiot trying to do this guys don't, don't do this man. you're taking away people's shields shield and if if he kills him, kills him you know you, know, you just have to assist you know if you take out the guy's uh shield and someone shoots your your teammate and he's dead and gone and maybe headshot possibly he's gone and that's because of you you gave them you got an assist for for the other from the other team basically so guys really doing that it's, it's not cool be like or oh he's doing good i'm gonna congratulate him or oh dude he took my gun i'm i'm gonna beat him down because he's got my gun that's dude guys that's not cool don't be the a-hole that does that now here was actually the same the same play that i had before this time it actually worked I waited, I knew he was behind the wall, he's going to go up the grab lift, when I see him, I'm going to put shots in him, and hope, and really just hope for the best, I was able to get his shields down, which worked, so when he came down, I landed, I beat him down, and it, and it worked, so, kind of that time, it kinda, at that time it played out for me, here I got, it's kind of, this was not exactly a smart idea, I just kind of got lucky, because <laughs> I had no shields, low on health, and I'm running away from these guys, and I'm being shot at. I don't know from who, I don't know from where. I'm chasing this one guy, trying to get the kill. Uh, who knows, I could have easily been killed right there, but... Uh, I I survived, I don't know. Uh, and here, here's another spot where I'm a little over-aggressive. A little too cocky. I'm like, I can assassinate this guy. There's only two guys. And I pay for it with this. I get beat down in the back of the head, because... I got cocky, I didn't even know there was a guy behind me. If I had just beaten the guy down in the first place, I, mean, I could have created more distance between me and the guy that just beat me down. So, guys, think about that when you're you're trying to do 
you know, assassinations is be aware of who of the situation if maybe there's another guy behind them or whatnot. So just you know, sometimes be careful of that. And now that kind of idea of being cocky actually I think actually hurt me and my team in this game because we actually did lose 50 to 48. Sorry, spoiler, it's getting near the end of this video. And my one one little mistake because I was cocky, I think cost us I think really cost us the game. So and once again here I am trying to be cocky again and I want the assassinations because it's it, it's one of those things in, in Halo Reach that assassinations are that like I, I don't know what you call but it's just it's satisfying when you actually get to do it. <laughs> now I actually I fell off here. This is actually the first time I actually played on this map, so I didn't know how where far how far to like jump and where where I was. Now here's this play where I decide to assassinate this guy. If I had not assassinated him, I might have been able to help my teammate kill that guy and maybe that other guy. Unfortunately that didn't happen and we lost the game. If I had not done that, maybe maybe we had a better chance of winning. So, oh well. Guys, what's for part two? It's Johnny B. I'll see you in part two.